So the Democrat National Convention is over after the speech last night by Kamala Harris. People were expecting a surprise um, performance. There was speculation that we could see Tay Tay show up, Taylor Swift, or even Beyonce. In fact, Don Lemon, well, Don Lemon had this to say yesterday afternoon. I'm sure you guys have read all the headlines, all the stuff on social media about who's gonna be at the DNC. Is it gonna be Beyonce? Is it gonna be Taylor Swift? Here's what I hear from sources. If it's going to be anyone, it would be Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and George W. Bush speaking. Those would be the heavy hitters, and it could happen. I'm just saying. Well, we certainly didn't get George W. Bush. We got Adam Kinzinger instead. Crying Adam. I'm ashamed to, to admit that he's from the state that I made my home for 50 some odd years. Because all he does is whine and cry and, and moan and, and he has severe TDS. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about who's going to show up to be the big heavy hitter put on the, the, the ultimate performance after Kamala Harris takes the stage, makes her speech, accepts the nomination. Well, according to TMZ, it was going to be Beyonce. As of yesterday afternoon, TMZ was reporting that uh, Beyonce is in Chicago and getting ready to pop out for Kamala Harris on the final night of the Democratic National Convention because Beyonce was in Chicago. Multiple sources in the no-tell is Queen Bay will be the big surprise performer as VP Harris officially accepts the Democratic Party's nomination to run for president. This isn't that big of a surprise because we know that the majority of Hollywood leans in a particular direction when it comes to politics, and that particular direction leans more toward the Democrats than the Republicans. I mean, last night, they, they brought out uh, the Dixie Chicks to sing the national anthem. Oh, I mean the Chicks to sing the national anthem. Can't call them Dixie because Dixie's, you know, a bad word now. Which the rendition of the national anthem was horrible. It was off key. It was terrible. Uh, Eva Longoria was there. Kerry Washington. D.L. Hughley. Even Pink. Sang a duet with her daughter Willow. I mean, the stars were out. But one star was missing. Remember how the rumor was Beyonce was going to be there? Beyonce, never, Beyonce was never scheduled to perform at the DNC, Rep says. Uh-oh. Pop singer Beyonce was never scheduled to perform on the last night of the DNC, despite reports that were circulating on Thursday. Speculation had been swirling of a special guest until TMZ allegedly confirmed that the Halo singer would be making an appearance. See, that, that's what this campaign has been for Kamala Harris since she was anointed the presumptive Democrat nominee for president. Why did I use the word anointed? Well, because nobody voted for her. She didn't go through the primary process. Joe Biden did. Six weeks ago, nobody liked Kamala Harris. They thought she was the worst vice president ever. But now all of a sudden, they all love her. So, you know, during the convention, it was nothing but orange man bad, no substance. It was all a Hollywood production. So the piece de resistance was floating out this rumor of Beyonce to draw more people into the convention, which is the same thing she did at a rally in Atlanta with Megan Thee Stallion putting on a concert to draw people in. But what happens when Beyonce is not there? Well, this is what happens. DNC fail. Viewers rage after false reports of Beyonce performing. Effing liars lied to get people to watch. Exactly. 
Fans and viewers had a collective meltdown after pop star Beyonce was a no-show at the Democratic National Convention following multiple news reports that the Grammy winner would perform on Thursday night. Effing liars, one fan reacted, accusing the convention and or news outlets of lying to get people to watch. Like this post here. I'm hearing that Beyonce has arrived at the United Center. Hearing that Beyonce has arrived at the United Center, MSNBC's Katie Fang exclaimed hours before the giant letdown. DNC viewers and attendees, however, were dismayed upon discovering the single ladies put a ring on it. Songstress would be a no-show despite conflicting reports. To quote the great Beyonce, we gotta lay our cards down, down, down. We got this one wrong, TMZ said on X. Hearing lots of, but where's Beyonce leaving the DNC? Conservative blogger and author Katie Pavlich disclosed. There's another crowd protesting and chanting, where is Beyonce? Another ex-user revealed. After watching the hashtag DNC 2024, hashtag DNC convention Thursday and hearing Kamala Harris speak, my thoughts were, where was Beyonce? Another lamented. Democrats and Beyonce and our Taylor Swift would be at the hashtag DNC disappointing conclusion after being teased with promises of quality entertainment. Hashtag fail. Not Beyonce leaking that lie that she's that she would be at the convention to make sure y'all tuned in to one of the most important nights of the DNC. Hashtag DNC 2024. Ha! Touche, Queen. Touche. Another surmised. Boy, that was fast. They went from joy to the world to lying about Beyonce. But then again, lying is what they do, another said. I want to fight whoever started that Beyonce rumor. Abolish TMZ. So as you can see, people weren't there for Kamala. People weren't watching for Kamala. People were there and they were watching to see Beyonce perform. So what do you guys think on this? What's, what's your take? Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out through with your friends and family. With that, I will see you guys later.